Today we're going to take a look at antennas as they relate to the Bolt ecosystem. Antennas come in all shapes and sizes, but no matter the shape or size, they all do one thing, send and receive radio waves. Today we're going to explore how to optimize your Teradek Bolt signal by properly configuring your antennas, depending on various situations. Let's start with the basics. There are two main types of antennas, V and H. V antennas refer to vertical polarization. Simply imagine a transversal wave propagating in the vertical plane and then you'll know exactly what we're talking about. If you don't know what that means, you're probably not a radio engineer. In which case, we've made you a diagram. With the V antennas, you can see how the electric field direction, or E field, for the wireless wave moves up and down vertically. The H antennas are similar to the V antennas with one key difference. If we rotate this signal 90 degrees, we can see that the E field of the H or horizontally polarized antenna signal is now perpendicular to the V signal. This difference in the E field is the main distinction between the two antennas. Now that we understand which antennas we have to work with, let's talk about how we choose which ones to use on our transmitter and receiver. There are two basic antenna configurations to choose from, V configuration or H plus V configuration. Certain setups call for a different antenna configuration. It's also very important to have the same configuration on the transmitter and receiver for best performance. For almost every situation, we recommend an H plus V antenna configuration. H plus V uses a mixture of horizontally and vertically polarized antennas on both the transmitter and receiver to diversify our wireless signal. The addition of the horizontally polarized antennas allows us to combine two perpendicular patterns for a stronger, more reliable wireless signal. If you're using an H plus V configuration on a transmitter with four antenna ports, such as Bolt 4K, you'll place the H antennas on the outermost connectors on both the transmitter and the receiver. For a two antenna port transmitter, such as a Bolt 4K LT, you'll need to place the H antenna on the connector closest to the B and C connector and the V antenna on the opposite connector. The V configuration is best suited for unique scenarios where you're attempting to get the longest range possible. It enables the signal to travel further, especially with a clear line of sight. In real world shooting situations, it's not likely you'll have a perfectly clear line of sight. So you need to assess each situation on a case by case basis to determine if it's the best configuration. The V configuration is simple. Attach four V antennas to your transmitter and five V antennas to your receiver. Another important factor that can contribute to the success of your signal strength is to have your antennas oriented vertically. The radiation pattern of our antennas is in the shape of a donut. Mm -mm -mm. Radiation never tasted so good. If you place the antennas at an angle, then it places our donut on an axis and lessens the likelihood that the signal will be received. The reason for the hinges on the antennas is so that the unit can be positioned on its side while still maintaining the vertical orientation of the antennas as seen in the example here. Now let's say you're in a situation where you need more firepower. You have to get through several walls or need to punch through some heavy interference. That's when the antenna array comes into play. The array provides an extremely robust and uninterruptible directional signal. Used in conjunction with a bolt, the array offers a more resilient wireless transmission by focusing the signal and punching through interference, especially in challenging RF conditions. Think of it like a satellite dish. You're focusing the amount of radio energy in one direction. When there are a lot of other wireless signals on a location, it can be difficult to keep a clear line of communication between your bolt transmitter and receiver. Using the array helps to amplify this signal, ensuring your video gets transmitted without interruption between your devices. The antenna array is compatible with BB3 bolt receivers of any range, including the 750, the 1500, or our longest range, MAX. The array is going to bolster your signal and keep your video feed running smoothly. It's also made from UV protected plastic and aluminum alloy, 
so it can withstand repeated exposure to the sun and maintain its durability throughout its lifetime. Now, if you've never seen the antenna array in action before, it might not be inherently obvious how you use it. Let's take you through the setup process. The array is used in conjunction with a bolt receiver. You'll connect the receiver to the back of the antenna using a battery plate. You'll then need to use the antenna cables to connect the antenna ports from the receiver to the array. If our system is in a V configuration, we'll connect to number 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 SMA connectors on the array. If the system is in an H plus V configuration, we'll connect to number 1, 3, 4, 5, and 7 SMA connectors on the array. We've also added an external omnidirectional antenna to the array. So if your transmitter happens to move behind the panel antenna or outside the directional cone, you'll still maintain signal for a short distance. Now let's take a look at the antenna array in a real life scenario. We're going to torture test our system by setting our camera in the back of the building and then setting up our receiver and monitor in the front. Now let's attach our antenna array. So we have our antenna array hooked up and ready to go. This means our signal will have to pass through several brick walls, glass, and a bunch of RF interference from other wireless systems in the building. Let's test it out. And here we can see that our signal is coming through no problem thanks to our antenna. So as you can see, the antenna array can mean the difference between seeing your video feed or not. The antenna array is an amazing tool that can give you the added firepower to ensure a strong connection over long distances and keep your production running smoothly in challenging conditions. We hope this video will help you understand antennas and teach you how to get the maximum benefit from your Bolt system.